of knowing the domain and range for y equals e to the x and how that gets transformed with this negative 2 and this plus 3. <coughs> uh, the domain of e to the x is all real numbers. The range of e to the x is only the positive real numbers. The graph of e to the x looks like this. So then it's a matter of figuring out what's been done to that graph. Plus three is a shift up three units. That's not gonna affect the that's not gonna affect the domain, this affects the range. Um the negative in front is an x axis reflection. That affects the range. Uh, the two, that is a shrinking um, and um, horizontal shrinking, but that doesn't affect anything since your range goes from, I mean, since your domain goes from minus infinity to infinity. And so then we put these all together. We have to, uh, there's an order about how we do it actually. The, uh, the reflection has to happen first. And then the uh, stretching and the, and the shifting. Shifting happens last. So we reflect first. And then we shift three units upward. <laughs> so this here hits at one. And now when you reflect, it hits at negative one. And now you want to shift that up three units um, um, this here is a horizontal asymptote that goes up three units as well and so the graph then it's gonna look I don't want to draw it on the same graph but the graph then is going to look like this where that's an asymptote, you can't go above that. And um, the, uh, let's go with a different color here, purple. Okay, so um, when you're at negative one, if you add three to that, that puts you at two. That's where you're gonna cross at. And then you have that same kind of build to it, except for maybe exaggerated a little bit, so. That would be the graph of y equals negative two e to the x plus three. So what would be the domain and range? R domain is unchanged. There's nothing that you can't plug into that. That goes everywhere, minus infinity to infinity. But the range has changed. The range now goes from minus infinity up to three. Okay. So it's about transforming, figuring out how it gets transformed and how that affects the domain and range. All right, great.